trick. Sometimes it loves me, sometimes it loves to abuse me. I just want to get outside of the wall game. And this wouldn't even be an issue if they didn't have such awful building mechanics for the, uh, well, for the everything really, but these, uh, these farms. I mean, given the way things are, I would happily have this one super casualized down and just give you a number of slots to build on. This will be tons of room to build our farms, thankfully. So now I can get on it. Tons of room, he says. Just use that as our excuse to build extremely inefficiently. And this is maddeningly inefficient, really. But on the other hand, it's so much easier to build with and so very stress free. Look, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous how easy it is. What isn't so gorgeous is being absolutely out of money. So I hope Stockholm is looking fine. Oddly enough, it is. Population is high. The enemy has an absurd amount of businesses. 71 businesses owned by the enemy. That's scary. It's also a horrible place to build, and I'll probably want to go outside of the walls because Stockholm is meant to build for me, or have for me, if I can find them on my list here somewhere. 500 mead facilities, nothing but. Okay, you know, I might be able to manage that. Naturally, looking at the space, I will probably not. I'll need to get out there. Whew. Then there's Revel. Sorry, all this excitement is uh, giving my jaw a workout. Revel is meant to be... 90... Uh, 900... And, uh, no. 490 hemp farms. 100 dairies. That's a lot of hemp. I've got to get out there. But I don't have any money, so let's press spacebar and get some money. It feels like I'm using a trainer. It's the, the with, with the way the money comes in there. Alright, probably get a better angle doing my thing here than here. Probably, he says. Hard to be sure. Maybe I can't be so dumpy. There we go. Promising. There we go. Ooh, that's a bit ugly. But, oh, that does not give me too much space. <laughs> what is even enough gold? riddle me that game. Okay, that looks good for getting us out of Rebel, which is secretly what everybody wants. And then there's Helsinki, which I have prepped. Alright, excellent. And of course there's Novgorod, which looks just amazing. If only it would stop having plague. So there's something I want to do to address my financial situation, and that is go to my own cities and take a load of money. Also, pay me more money. Ahus surely has tons of dosh for us. Doesn't it just? So this gives us the millions that we've needed all along. Oh, no, I just went to Ahus. I'm that desperate to get tons of dosh. I mean, this is what it means to be the mayor, right? You just stroll into the office and say, I'm taking all the money. And then you take it and you're done. My internals are looking good. Those uh, 
Meals for the poor seem to have done the trick. Uh, although the next thing I'm going to need is for each of these to build up a proper minister so we can go above and beyond. So I'm not sure if I'm going to have the capability. No, actually I can do that whenever I become mayor. There's no need to worry about voting on them. Which just also means that I need to make absolutely sure I'm there on uh, the 1st of July and then continue to move around. So I'm actually going to have my election screen on my other uh, other monitor there. And now we watch and wait and make money because everything should be fine. There should be plenty of food flowing. Cheese and uh, grain at the very least. Meat, of course. But if anybody starts saying they're short on grain or another kind of food that isn't fish, then I need to jump on that. Wool is, of course, short, but that's fine. Boom, boom, boom. We're not piling up with anything here, are we? Why are we completely out of... Okay, we are tragically short on wool. Harlem keeps dropping it off over in Hamburg. He makes cloth. And the cloth is coming back to Rostock. And the cloth is okay. I mean, we make more money on cloth, so that's fine. What's the ultimate point of this campaign? How does Jake define the perfect Hansa? The perfect Hansa is one that hands off has everything in equilibrium. And with all cities built up to maximum capacity. That is my perfect Hansa. Okay, wool really short. Rippin complaining about a lack of just fish though. They have cheese and they have meat. They don't have a lot of meat though. I hope that meat is flowing fine over there. Grain certainly is, so that's alright. Uh, Danzig short on wood seems a little odd, but the wild card Thagnus should be in a good position to help them out. Infinity and beyond. There you go, dum dum. Can't see if anybody else is short on wood, can you? Bruges being short on hemp is a bit of a laugh. Actually, am I swimming in hemp? Uh, that's not really swimming. I'm kind of swimming in cheese, meat, and grain. Boom, boom, boom. Goodbye, my uh, my precious inner uh, cargo wagons. I'm glad to see that money flow in, though. Alright, Nimwegen is uh, short on food, uh, wood, but isn't that because I told them to build everything? Yeah, they'll get that in time though. Confident about that. But nobody appears to be short on food. London's short on wood. And clay, as luck would have it. I mean, I could help them out. Very little reason that I can't help them out. First of July is still a wee bit away. There we go. And modern day Chris Crinkle here. Never mentioned that that sound effect is extremely annoying. I think I have. Just wanted to be sure. Okay, the shortage of wool is getting somewhat out of hand. Who's meant to be giving us that? Also, we've got grain, which is good, I guess. Okay, Harlem not producing fish is a problem. And I can't imagine why. Unless you miraculously became short on something. And I actually have no real explanation how that can be. Unless some fish guy actually includes you in their route, which would be very strange. I can check the fish west. Uh, yeah. A, B, C, D, E, F. Fish. West 1. We only have one going west, and it's kind of small. And it doesn't stop by you. And it is very small, actually. 
That's never going to satisfy all these uh, all these hungry guys. But then neither is this total lack of fish that we have in the center, so can't win them all. Happy to see the cheese and the grain flowing. The grain flows and the cheese flows in the center as well, so that's good. How about that beer from Edinburgh? Did I ever make the IPA guy bigger? Tch, yeah, and then some. Uh, beer from Rostock is getting around, which is good. Excellent. Hrnigan is saying hello, Jake. Well, hello to you and Jack. Patrician Marvin was elected alderman. Okay, right, that's nothing important then. Being the alderman is super unimportant. Okay, a couple of months probably means a lot of places are growing uh, bigger than I've really been ready for them. And then there are places which are producing things like all that wool. But I mean, I think we'll just give it till I can become uh, president of places and then uh, work on it from there. As long as places aren't starving, it's not that bad. And the inefficiencies of the AI is not so terrible. Although what is so terrible is all this money sitting in the office treasury and not in my back pocket. It's maddening, in fact. Odd that there's a lack of beer here. Beer lacking in Ripen. But how? Beer lacking there. Does beer also lack up in... Uh... Okay, so I guess the beer guy only goes anti-clockwise. We got beer here. Is London dripping in beer? London is somewhat dripping in beer. They had a guy here that had stopped. Brew dog, in fact. Needs to get back to work. Shoo. Off he goes. Kaunas has a drought, which I think is going to drop off production of wine. Maybe. Hard to say. I'm out of beer. Could you perhaps transport some beer to Hernigan? Hernigan has lots of beer at good prices, but we can give it to you cheaper. Bought some? Good, because I'm taking it all back. We are the beer masters around here. Rostock is so well stocked in everything except for clothes that they desire spices. And clothes I actually have here in storage in Danzig. Now remember, I produce about 8% of people's demands of clothes. So as a little exercise for those of you watching at home, I would like you to take off all of your clothes right now. Weigh them. And let's say you have uh, one kilo of clothes. Uh, take back... 80 grams of it. That's all the clothes you're allowed to wear. Then you'll know what it's like to be in my Hamza. <laughs> the rest of it you have to make up with uh, scraps of cloth, some wool, and uh, pelts. Okay, we are fast approaching the important time, which is the 2nd of July. I know I said first, but really I meant the 2nd, because it's on the 2nd that I become the mayor of Chaunas. And here we are, which means we can do mayor things like upgrading the university and building a statue of ourselves and working on the wall. And the wall, it seems, is already at kind of its maximum. Actually, if I were to build it now, it would be an any bit of a wall, but Oh, okay. I would really like it to go bigger like that, but the existence of that dairy is cutting in on it. Maybe if I delete that dairy, I can fix this. Maybe. Might have to demolish more than just that dairy. I hope this works. It might not. Oh, thank God. So 
So it's a little strange that the new wall I build actually goes in a bit compared to the old one. But I like to think we're going to have a... Wait, what? This area is apparently not buildable anyway. So there's no great loss. Still, that just rubs me the wrong way. I mean, what do I even gain here? I gain a fat load of nothing. That, I guess, is slightly better. It's not that nobody expects the wall. Nobody can stop the wall. There we go. That'll take a while, but get to it. So, I tell them to make the wall. I check to see what my uh, size estimate here for Kaunas is. Uh, 45,000. Honestly, that's going to be a squeeze. It's going to be a hell of a squeeze. I'll probably have to go outside of the walls if it'll even give me much space there. Nonetheless, we have to erect some chapels and some uh, other things. So, 15 of them, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And infirmary. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, done. Otherwise, how nice looks like it could do with some extra houses. So it's fast approaching that limit. I need to not half-ass it. I will be building a lot more houses than that. But that's at another time. I built all the mayoral stuff that I need to do here. We don't care about uh, building guard towers. I mean, who really does? That would be if I was under attack, but all the princes are completely pleased, so forget that. What I need to do is go to the next election place, which is Warsaw in one day. So we drop off at Warsaw, we do our personal stuff and move here. I needed to upgrade all of these internal places to Hanseatic cities in order to do this. Then I go to the city hall and I say, hey, I'm important, let me be your mayor. And then on the 3rd of July they have an election, and on the 4th of July of course they find me to be the mayor. And my immediate thing is to upgrade cathedral, upgrade university, build a statue of myself, and look at the wall and go, it's perfect in every way and cannot be improved. Good. Oh, hang on, hang the hell on. What is this? There's a little bit you can drag out here. That's kind of cool. We were wondering about the internal cities before. The other one we didn't get to see this because it went into the, uh, the jutty up bit, but that's okay. In fact, that's kind of cool. If we look at Warsaw from our did, 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 from our what exactly, we estimated Warsaw to be 68,000 people, which is 23 infirmaries and chapels. That's a lot. But nothing's too much for us here. 23 of them, huh? That's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 7, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3. And then infirmaries. 1, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3. Population limit isn't feeling any strain here, and we can build this up later. Then I go to my next election place, which will be Poisson. Or Poisson. Once again, we move our home here. And we run for election. That'll be in September. June, July, August, September. So we have a couple of months. Honestly, it'll take uh, half a year to get through all of these. I don't see a reason not to just do that now, because it's going to free us up so much in the long term. Poisson is tiny, though. Absolutely tiny. I am worried about how tiny Posen is. Which is to say very worried. Honestly, what's my uh, my guess for Posen here? I have Posen clocking in at 50,000. I doubt Posen will be able to get 30,000. In fact, I will be assuming that it's going to get about 30,000. And that's even with this uh, this outside of the wall malarkey, because we're at maybe fifty percent of the buildings here, and we've used almost fifty percent of our space. Okay, I'll be generous and say it's going to hit forty-five thousand, and that's very generous. So I'll build fifteen of them. Well, regardless, we go outside. I'm going to save and save often, and I'm going to space bar my way to victory. As long as our people aren't starving, everything goes fine. I swear there was a Snickers there. I guess not. So, ah, there we go. Otto Grimsby. Go and get that for me. Just for posterity. Also, what I can do, if I have lots of goods here... Oh, I've got a ton of goods here. Pelts, pitch, tools... Okay, we don't have tons of these items here. But I could find my ships that have stopped and make them go again, because it's been quite a while. They probably have some stuff backed up now. There's quite a few of them. Oh man, I could especially get these guys running, because I'm certain I produce goods to do this with now. This really should not close that central, uh, well, it shouldn't close the logbook to select a boat or a convoy of any kind. The no CB bringing wood from Danzig. That could be part of it. Hernigan to Rostock tools hasn't been working. Mead from Stockholm has been, uh, out of commission for a while. Who else has given up the goat? Bricks from Ste. I forget where Ste is. Stavanger, probably. Pitch from Ehus has been failing. So go figure, they've got a few thousand pitch to give. The soapy. Flensburg's. Um, tools has been failing. And go figure, they've got a fair few thousand for us as well. Which is good, I want that. Lots of people I see have overloaded warehouses. But I'll deal with that in due time. Scarborough's wood needs to flow. Probably. Fish from Harlem. How's that looking? And why was that low? I... I struggle to imagine why Harlem ran out of fish. Okay, that's probably why they temporarily ran out of salt. But I thought it had so much salt going around here that it would be nuts. I guess we just need more. Malmen tools. Meat. Oh wow, if the meat stopped flowing, that's pretty bad. Tools from... Got Gothenburg. 
Oslo's meat is pretty high, but I mean Rostock has tons of meat to share anyway, so that's okay. None of them immediately stopping, which is promising. They'll probably stop soon enough. That good old sound effect. So when's our election? In Posen it's 30th of September, so we got a while to go. But I'm just happy to make tons of money during that time. It's not the case where I'd really want to upgrade somewhere like Revel, is it? I mean, Revel has no jobs for us. Yeah, maybe I should. Revel is meant to produce an obscene amount of hemp for me. Hemp and cheese, but I overdo the cheese already. Since I've got this stuff going on out here already, I could always... Okay, I think you have to build one thing there first before it'll let you, uh, let you do unspeakable things to it. So I'll give it a few days. It only takes four days to build up a thing. When are you going to play Mayo and Texas? Which country do you plan on playing first? Um, Cochin or Granada? Cochin would be nice because that would be a real throwback to a great campaign. Pink India. When I started playing Mayo in EU3, that's all I could play. Just kind of destroyed the uh, the base game for me. Okay, so it wants to play hard to get. Oh no, there we go. And these are you couldn't get straighter lines here, so. Okay. Okay. Fine, don't build. What? Ah, okay. This is nice. I mean, not the building experience, hell no, but it's... Wait, what? Okay. Okay, it just went from this is nice to what the hell am I doing here? Not even sure if the game knows. Although it's given me new records for how long I can make farms. Six long. <laughs> okay, okay, this is just getting daft now. Well, who would suspect that when you bug out the game it does buggy things? There we go. That's pretty good, I guess. Fairly shot up the number of our businesses. And that should keep Revel good for at least a wee while longer. It was only one that I was really caring that much about. Jake, I think that Hemp Farm is slated to be demolished to have a highway built through it. They could have contested the city as well. Uh, I didn't get any of that. Okay, so again, Le Grand is down. I wonder if it's because Rostock is lacking in salt. It doesn't seem overly high in it. <clears throat> and isn't my salt production meant to be coming in from the likes of Riga? Who's meant to be giving me salt, game? Tell me. Salt is Boston, Nimwegen, Rostock, Riga. Mostly Riga. Riga seems really limited here. Why? 
I should have a lot more salt coming in. Who else is making salt? How's Rostock doing on the salt? Should call this place Rock Salt. <laughs> Could do better. Um, otherwise, Boston. 